Hello, and welcome back to our Spore Let's Play. Uh, we are still in the cell stage, and I am going to take this opportunity to show off what I consider the optimal build for the cell stage. But first, we're going to grab this glowy meteorite, because it has an extra body part for us. Um, there we go. And it's poison. Uh, poison is actually really useful, and if uh, we ever get the DNA for it, we will uh, definitely be adding that to our creature. Okay, so to show off what uh, I'm going to do, I need to find a large carnivore. Uh, there are smaller carnivores that attack us, but it's not as impressive. Oh, okay, that proboscis having creature there, that parasite, is ridiculously fast. Uh, but it has a, a useful body part, if we can ever corner one. Uh, one interesting thing about the cell stage of Spore is that the computer-generated creatures do not follow the same rules as the uh, player-generated. Okay, this guy's going to try and eat us. He's got the red lines of aggression coming out of his mouth, but he's not going to be able to because our spikes make him make it too difficult for us to stay in his mouth. We bounce right out. Uh, of course, uh, that's actually a really stupid and risky thing to try to do, uh, but uh, with the right uh, practice, you can kill even things that are much larger than you. Ah, here's a jet we've got, which is going to be uh, useful. It makes us go very fast, um, although it's much more expensive than we can afford at the moment. Uh, and then uh, let's see if we can find a proboscis uh, before we go up in size. The bad part about trying to collect body parts is that you can only collect novel body parts from creatures that are about the same size as you. Uh, if they're too small, uh, you don't get them, and if they're too big, you don't get them. Uh, so, uh, we are just about in the right stage to find a proboscis. So we want to avoid eating until we can we do. Uh, if we miss the proboscis, there will be another chance later on, uh, but by that time, uh, we'll have no use for it. Uh, so let me just pause and see if I can't find an appropriate creature in the fullness of time. Oh. All right, we're back, and uh, we're going to try and kill one of those filthy parasites. And, yep, we got it just in time. Okay. So now we can be a true omnivore. Uh, before, we are an omnivore by having two mouths, uh, a carnivore mouth and an herbivore mouth. But uh, let's call our mate here and get ourselves a new mouth. Oh, a new body part just emerged there, uh, the fairly useful electric ass. Okay. It's not actually called that. I don't remember what it's called, but uh, that's what it is, an electric ass. It's the only one we're missing, so we'll try to get that uh, later on. Okay, so proboscis is the omnivore mouth, but because the uh, forums wanted us to be a carnivore, we're just going to be using it to get meat, but I'm putting it on our creature uh, just so you can see what it's like. Okay, and let's change our paint job while we're at it. Uh, Give ourselves some nice uh, striations there. And uh, let's see, we'll call ourselves the uh, parasitical starbug. And it really sucks. I enjoy puns from time to time. Uh, it is a vice, but I make no apologies. 
Okay. And we can afford another spike. Uh, so, oops. So let's put, put one on because six spikes are better than four. And we are now virtually uneatable, inedible. Um, this will be pretty handy because we are going to prey on predators. Um, basically, if you want to prey on herbivores, you got to be fast. Uh, if you want to prey on predators, you got to be slow. Ah, here we go. Uh, let's see what it's called. Oh, just electrode. Electric. Uh, not electric ass. Oh, that creature's already dead. Now, the proboscis is pretty useful because you get food and DNA whenever you nose into anything. Uh, uh, it's uh, kind of tricky to use because you can't actually eat the lumps of meat that you find. Uh, you can eat lumps of plant matter, uh, like so, uh, but uh, it can be kind of hard to aim into them. Uh, let me bring up the history bar here to show what we're trying to do. Uh, this screen gives us a history of our creatures. You know, there's the one that emerged from the meteor and then each subsequent generation. Uh, it also shows which body parts we've collected and uh, what we've eaten, uh, plants and meat, and also what we've killed. Uh, killing is not quite the same as eating uh, because, well, uh, you can kill things without eating them. Uh, and it t when I play as an herbivore, I tend to, to rack up a lot of kills uh, because I go for the spiked design and predators cannot resist a slow yet spiky meal. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, we've got three different paths here. And this bar goes up when we eat plants and down when we eat uh, meat. Our goal is to get it down into the carnivore level uh, because we want to be a carnivore in the creature stage. Uh, your diet also has a profound effect on the abilities you get later in the game. As you can see, each uh, diet has an ability for each of the four subsequent stages. Um, you know, in the creature stage, herbivores get the ability to enchant and enthrall uh, other creatures to better make friends with them. Uh, omnivores can summon a group of random creatures to help them out, and herb, uh, carnivores can scare away whatever they like. Um, what I usually do is optimize for the space stage. Uh, herbivores get uh, a social a discount on social tools. Omnivores get a discount on general tools, and carnivores get a dis uh, a, an increased effectiveness with weapons. So carnivore is actually the best uh, creature to choose if you want uh, an advantage in the space stage, because we are going to be rolling in money and discounts aren't going to matter that much to us. So, uh, what this screen is telling us is that we need to eat more meat. Uh, we could eat plants with our current mouth, but we're going to avoid it. Hey, look at me. I'm all slow and easy to eat. Oh, but I'm going to go into your mouth head first and uh, devour your fluids. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause it until we get closer to the end, because this is just going to be me eating stuff for another 10 minutes or so. All right, we're back and almost to the end of the creature stage, or cell stage. Uh, I have changed the design of our creature. We are now green, and we've got poison uh, in place of our second spike, or third pair of spikes. Um, not as optimal, but it does allow us to do a few things that... Uh, we'll see later. Okay, this guy's virtually impossible to kill. He's got three mouths, it looks like. But we're going to keep trying to jump into his mouth sideways. Uh, 
the disadvantage of poison is that it doesn't affect creatures who are much uh, larger than you. Uh, but we did kill him with our spikes. Now, I've also changed our mouth to that of an obligate carnivore because that way you can get meat from the bodies of creatures you kill with your spikes. Uh, unfortunately, with the proboscis, if you kill him uh, in any way other than uh, nosing into them, uh, you don't get any food, uh, which slows things down considerably. Uh, but we are a pure carnivore. Oh, that guy's too big to eat. Uh, which means that we have certain advantages. Uh, okay, so yeah, as you can see, we've got a trail of purple stuff uh, going behind us. Anything that swims into that purple trail uh, will take damage, unless it's too big, like this guy. But uh, I think its extra mouths are an evolutionary disadvantage because, well, uh, more to bounce off of. Or not. I spoke too soon. Death in Spore is extremely forgiving. Uh, you basically just spawn as an egg uh, and then immediately pick up where you left off. But it's humiliating. I'm playing this in front of an audience and I died on the easiest part of the game. Oh well. Now, one thing I don't like about the creature stage is that all of the other creatures you see are uh, Maxis generated. Uh, none of my other cells and no cells from the internet are uh, available in the cell stage, which kind of sucks because part of the draw of this game is seeing other players' uh, creations. But we'll see plenty come the creature stage. Uh, I've just got a few more things I need to eat, and then we will be on our way. Uh, I will pick up next time at the creature creator. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Um, almost to the creature creator now. Uh, I realize that there's a... Uh, a cut scene that you'll probably want to see uh, um, before then. So I think we're going to need just one more food, or maybe two. We're almost there. Ah, there we go. Our brain size is increasing. We are now sentient, which means that our central nervous system is now a an actual brain, and we can perceive the environment around us. What we're doing hitherto I don't know, but presumably it was not sentience. So let's advance to the creature stage. And moving down, yep, we got to be a carnivore at the very last minute, which is fine. Uh, as long as you squeak in under the wire, that's all that really matters. Okay, so advance to the creature creator, and that is where we'll start our next video. Uh, until then, toodaloo.